So welcome. The first thing you're going to need for your illuminated initials today is either a printout or a sketch of your initial. Um, here I have one that I printed from my file and the other one I took a screenshot of one I liked on the screen. I blew it up and I printed it really big off my printer and I think I'm going to use that one. Now you want to make sure that your new piece of paper matches up in the corners and that you can see through to the letter that you printed off your printer underneath. If not, you can always look at one to the side and sketch this part out or have an adult help you do that. I want to use a dark outlining. I'm going to be using a marker. You might have crayons or colored pencils, but this helps me to see where my edges are for my letter. And my letter initial that I'm using is a C for Congdon, my last name. And I'm going to be careful to go through and leave it open. I don't want to color it in because I'm going to be putting my symbols all about me inside and around this illuminated letter so it tells a story about me. You'll notice I'm moving nice and careful. I'm trying to stay on the outside of those lines to leave myself as much space as possible. Once I'm finished tracing, I can remove that underneath piece and put it out of the way. You'll see I have a nice curve on here. Um, so when I start thinking about my ideas and symbols that represent me, I love to garden. So one of the first things I'm going to put in here are some beautiful flowers. My favorite flowers um, are my Black Eyed Susans that are outside and not in yet for the year, but they'll be coming along soon enough as our weather gets warmer and warmer up here in Minnesota. I'm gonna finish these off. And then remember, I'm trying to fill the space. So I wanna add in things like leaves and stems that are really going to um, help this to be very colorful once I get it colored in uh, to really make it look sort of illuminated. I'm gonna add in some of those little details. Uh, let's see, what's something else that's all about me? I love to be outside in the warm sunshine on those gardening days, so I'm gonna put a sun up here outside of my letter C. If you have to draw off the edge of the page, remember you can just stop when you get to the edge and imagine where it would go and come back down. I know one's gonna peek out from behind here. When I think about things about me, the other thing I do a lot of is play with my dog Chase. So I'm gonna draw a little picture of him over here. He has little ears that are folded over. Um, he's always looking to help me out in the garden by chasing off the squirrels and the rabbits and sniffing around for little critters and bugs. He always wears his collar when he's outside in case anything ever happens that he runs off or gets lost. Uh, and he's really furry and fuzzy, so I'm gonna put a lot of fur on him like this. He's watching out for my garden. Um, since I am, let's see, I also like to do art. It's something that I love. So I'm gonna put a heart here to represent that. And then I'm gonna draw my little artist palette up here with all of my little different paint colors that I can fill in. And of course, if I have a paint palette, I should have a paint brush someplace. So I'm gonna draw one of those in here with a little bit of paint on it. Uh, let's see, I also want to make sure that I'm filling in the spaces both inside and outside. So I think down here I'm also going to put a cross. There we go, because that is my religious preference. I'm just going to add a few more of those symbols in and then we'll come back and take a look. Okay, now that I have all of this stuff filled in, I still have a lot of open background space, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to add that border like they tend to do in illuminated manuscripts. Sometimes they have geometric patterns outside in this border. Sometimes they have individual drawings. I think I'm going to go through and I'm going to put some more flowers since I really like that flower idea and motif. Um, gonna start in a corner and work my way around because that's the easiest way for me to do it. You can do it however you would like with whatever symbols you might like. Again, you could do zigzags or dashes or lightning or hearts, totally up to you. But I'm gonna work my way all the way around the border. Now that I finished all of that, it's time for me to color in. You can use crayons, markers, whatever it is you have at home to color in with. 
And when you look at all of the different colors that you have with your coloring supplies, remember we wanna keep this illuminated and bright. So pull out your dark colors. We don't really wanna use those, but keep your bright colors because we definitely want to be using those for coloring this in. Now, I don't want my letter to get lost in all of my pictures back here. So I wanna make sure I only use one color for my letter and I'm gonna choose the color purple. So I'm not going to use the color purple any place else in my picture. I'm just going to keep it here. So I'm gonna set that off to the side so I don't accidentally use it and keep going with the other colors that I have. I'm gonna be careful to color nice and smooth, trying to stay inside my lines and using as many of those bright colors as I possibly can. Now you might have all kinds of other things that are glitter pens, pencils, crayons, glitter glue. I don't have any of that. I just have aluminum foil at my house. So what I'm gonna do is take a small piece, I don't need very much, and I'm going to accent some of my different spaces. I also don't have regular glue, so I'm gonna borrow some of my husband's wood glue from the garage. I'm gonna make do with the things that I have around my house. Just because I was an art teacher didn't mean I had all of my supplies with me at home. A lot of them were at school when I left. So just like you guys, I'm going to be using what I have. I'm gonna cut careful circles and you have to work with small pieces of aluminum foil. It doesn't like to cut very well. So you might need an adult's help for a little bit of this. I'm gonna use just a touch of glue and then I'm gonna push that on there and hold. And as you can see, it looks reflective like those illuminated letters that we were looking at in some of our slides today. I'm gonna to work there and just put it around the C. I don't need very much at all. Uh, and then when it's finished, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll be able to take a picture and upload it. I look forward to seeing everybody's artwork when they're finished.